Hello, my name is Erin Simon. I am the Assistant Superintendent of School Support Services for the Long Beach Unified School District. I'm here today to share some information regarding LBUSD safety protocols as we prepare for the upcoming school year. The health and safety of our students, staff, and families is of the utmost importance. The health and safety guidelines that I review momentarily are based on current guidance from the following public health officials. The Long Beach Health Department, the Los Angeles County Department of Public Health, the California Department of Public Health, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and the California School Nurses Organization, and will be updated throughout the year as needed. The purpose of this video is to provide you with an overview of the district's preparation for the safe return of students and staff to our campuses. Health screening. Students and staff will be required to perform a self-health COVID-19 screening before entering campus. The district is considering the purchase of a COVID-19 screening app, which would allow students and staff to complete a health screening survey on their mobile device before entering campus or any district building. Students and staff would display their results on their mobile device to the designated screener at site entry points. The screener would review the results and would also conduct a contactless temperature check. Anyone with a temperature of 100.4 or higher or COVID type symptoms would be sent home. Students pre-screened from bus transportation will be rescreened at the school site, which will also include a contactless temperature check. If students or staff have any unexplained signs or symptoms of COVID-19, they will be required to stay home and contact their school or site regarding their absence. Such COVID-19 like symptoms include, but are not limited to, cough, fever or chills, shortness of breath or difficulty breathing, fatigue, muscle or body aches, headache, new loss of taste or smell, sore throat, congestion or runny nose, nausea or vomiting or diarrhea. If students or staff have been in close contact that is less than six feet for more than 15 minutes with someone that is COVID-19 positive, they must stay home and contact the school or site for their absence. Students or staff who fall within this category will receive a follow-up phone call from school staff asking about their symptoms and they may be asked to self-quarantine depending on their symptoms or situation. Screening supplies at each site will include a touchless thermometer, hand sanitizer, and personal protective equipment, PPE, such as disposable masks, face shields, and gloves. Designated screeners will be required to wear appropriate PPE and wash their hands before screening and when they are done screening. For students and staff who are unable to self-screen before entry into campus, on-site screening will be available. The screener will conduct a contactless temperature check and will ask several screening questions. Anyone with a temperature of 100.4 or higher or COVID type symptoms will be sent home. Students or staff who fall within this category will receive a follow-up phone call from school staff asking about their symptoms and they may be asked to self-quarantine depending on their symptoms or situation. Every campus will have a designated isolation room for six students when schools reopen. The isolation room will be staffed with designated trained staff. Isolation room staff will wear appropriate PPE, such as a gown, medical grade mask, face shield or goggles, and disposable gloves. If a student is found to have COVID-19 symptoms when entering campus or during the school day, he, she will be sent to the isolation room. The staff member in the isolation room will contact the parent guardian to come pick up the student right away. The district screening protocol will be updated as new guidance is received 
from public health officials.